Okay, we're back again with Strength Coach Tutorials, and in today's tutorial, we're going to finish off this attendance template that we've been working on. Things that we have left to complete, drop boxes in each one of the boxes to show whether an athlete was here, absent, or late, and then we want it to automatically color code depending on what we select, and then a formula down here at the bottom that's going to show how many of our athletes have attended each session. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're back on our sheet that we've been working on here and we're going to add a little bit of functionality into it now so that we can use it to track attendance with our teams or our athletes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to add a drop box here so that we can select whether the athlete was um, here, absent, or late. The easiest way to do that is just to select all of the cells <coughs> that we want to use and we're going to go to data, data validation, select list, and then if you click this up arrow here, you can select the uh, source that you want to use. And we'll use the three values that we have down here in the corner in the legend. Okay, so you'll notice now any of the boxes we select, we should be able to select um, absent, late, or the check mark for here. And the cool thing about actually selecting the legend down here is that if we wanted to change these for any reason and actually take the L and make it say late, then when we go back to our cells now, whenever we select that, we can actually have it say late. We'll just delete those and I'll put this back to L. <clears throat> so the next thing now is I want these cells to actually color code depending on the value that I select. So because I'm going to use the check mark, we're going to copy that, so control C, and then I'm going to select all the cells that I want to create a formatting in. Then go to home, conditional formatting, new rule, Select or format cells that contain cell value equal to, and I'm going to paste my check mark in there, and I want them to get um, a green color. So I'm going to fill them with a light green color that matches the one um, that we're using. So we'll say right about there. OK. And to do that, I just went to format, and I'll hit OK. So now anytime I select a cell, where I use the check mark, it's going to light up in a green color there. <clears throat> We're going to do the same thing for absent and late. So highlight all the cells, conditional formatting, new rule, cells that contain, equal to, and for absent, we're going to put an A in there, format, and we're going to have those go red. OK, OK, and we'll do it one more time for late. <clears throat> conditional formatting, new rule, cells that contain equal to and L for late and we'll have that go yellow. So what you'll see now is whenever I select one of the values it's actually going to light up in a color so it just gives me an easy glance at whether an athlete was here late or absent whether, without having to look too hard at the sheet. Then the next thing we want to do is I'm going to put some stats down here at the bottom so I have an easy um, look at who was here and who was not here. To make sure they're working, we're just going to add some athletes here at the side. So athlete 1, athlete 2, athlete 3, athlete 4, athlete 5, athlete 6, and that should be enough. I'm just going to make these fit. So I'll just shrink their um, values here. So this is going to be a formula. So if I click in this box here, and I'm going to go equals count if we want it to go, we want it to show um, how many check marks we have in this box here, and then a slash to how many athletes we have. So it's going to show how many are here out of how many there could be. So I'm going to go brackets, I'm going to go range, select the range. So we want it to count through all these cells, comma, and then the criteria I want is that check mark. And then I'm going to close those brackets. I'm going to put an N, quotation marks, space, backslash, space. So that's going to leave a space in between our values. And then N. And then we want it to count how many athletes we have. So we're going to go count um, A, counts the number of cells in a range that are not empty. And we're going to do this range here for all of our athletes and close that off. And because where we're going to have our athletes never changes, we're going to make sure that we stick some dollar signs in 
um, in front of the letter and the number there so that those never change when we drag the formula. So then if I hit enter, it's going to show me 0 out of 6. Okay, and I'm going to shrink that down so it fits in the cell and center it so it looks nice. So it showed me 0 out of 6 athletes are here. But if I go and add some check marks, 3 out of 6, um, 4 out of 6, and then if I put some absence or lates in there, it doesn't count those ones. So what it's doing is only counting if a value contain or if the cell contains one of the check mark values. And you'll notice, so it, I got up to athlete 6 there. If I add another athlete, athlete 7, athlete 8, athlete 9, etc. It's going to automatically update so that I can add athletes on the fly. And I'm just going to shrink those down. Okay, so those all fit now. And the beautiful thing is, is because we did our formula right, I should just be able to drag this right across. And you'll notice, I'm just going to format this with a, a border on the outside. But what you're going to notice is, now in any one of those cells, if I go and select um, on January 15th, if we're doing our attendance here, it's going to count there at the bottom. How many athletes were here? 4 out of 9, 4 out of 9. And then if we had another one, 5 out of 9. And we can show our coach or um, anyone else on the team easily how many athletes were here, how many were late, and how many were absent. So I hope this helps you out. If you're finding these uh, videos helpful, um, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, that really helps me out. Also, you can find me on Instagram at DSM Strength or our newly formed Strength Coach Tutorials page. I also have a website, um, www.dsmstrength.com. I like to sell some of these templates and make them available for people to um, download. So if that's something you're interested in, um, you can either shoot me an email at dsmstrength at gmail.com or I can even help you out with your files if you're having a tough time. So thanks for all the support um, and we'll see you hopefully next week with another video. Cheers.